The street name is Zanny for Xanax, a popular anti-anxiety prescription drug. Hip-hop stars like Lil Uzi Vert have shaped their musical careers around it. Xanax is a benzodiazepine, or benzo. Rappers like Lil Uzi use the drug recreationally, but over 13 million Americans are prescribed benzodiazepines by their doctors every year. Other common benzos are Ativan, Clonopin, and Valium. They work by increasing an acid in the brain called gamma-aminobutric acid, or GABA. GABA is our inhibitory mechanism in our brain, okay? So, so benzodiazepines work on inhibiting those physiologic sensations. Now, the, the bad thing about it is benzodiazepines in our frontal part of our brains can be pretty much like having one extra cocktail sometimes. Benzos can affect us in other ways. They increase the brain's tolerance for convulsions and affect short-term memory. Mary Satoli was prescribed Ativan for 16 years. When she tried to stop taking her prescription, she says she suffered from blackouts. I had blacked out, so I'm alone hit my head on the concrete, had to have staples put in my head, and I had vertigo for six weeks. After her recovery, Mary started a website called Follow Your Bliss to help people who wanted to get off their benzo prescriptions. Our um, organization is set up to hopefully bridge the gap so we can find a solution to this. Dr. Paul Garson says despite the dangers, benzos can be useful. We're trained to, to treat patients who have anxiety, and benzodiazepines are very effective if treat used properly. But for some people, the dangers outweigh the benefits. The woman in this video suffered from seizures when she quit her prescription cold turkey. Did you get that? Yeah. For Mary Satoli, the message is clear. Stay away, stay away if you value your brain and your ability to function in this world at all. If you have anxiety or depression, get help. You cannot rely on one pill fixes everything in your life. For the Stony Brook News, I'm Rebecca Sherry.